Sorry, my camera. Walter, you. It also makes you look good. And because I forgot my Spanx, for goodness sake. Sorry, it's like waving back and forth at me. Hi. Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to my channel. Um, it is so hot here. I am forever this summer wearing my hair up. I am sweating. It's like 68 degrees in here, but it is so hot. It's just miserable all the time. And the horrible thing is I work in air conditioning and so I end up wearing sweaters to work. But then by the time I go home, I'm like boiling hot. So my hair is constantly in this like I constantly have these little things because they like don't fit up there and it's just always up. So my summer look. Now we are in the midst of wedding season and I did a video a while back on my 10 tips for wedding planning. Um, and I got a lot of feedback on that. A lot of people really uh, liked that and thought that I had some good ideas. Who knew? Uh, maybe planning my wedding since I was like 10 really helped, paid off. Um, so today, this being fresh in my memory and seeing a lot of people get married and a lot of people get engaged, let me tell you. We're not just in wedding season, we are in engagement season. So with engagement, you know, keep throwing this around, with engagement comes, you know, the wedding and the wedding, you have the bride and the groom. And with the bride, you have the bridesmaids. Woohoo! And I was actually just, I had the pleasure, um, if you watched my vlog a few weeks ago, I had the privilege of being in my standing in my two best friends' wedding. Like, they married each other. Yeah. Um, and so I had the privilege of standing up at, with them. And it was, you know, it was one of the best days ever. And um, what, um, you know, be, and so with that being said, and so with that being said, being a bridesmaid is no easy task. Um, and so today I wanted to share my 10 tips on how to be the best bridesmaid. Woohoo! Number one, clear communication with clear expectations. What does that mean? So when you are a bridesmaid, there are a bunch of unspoken things that are on your plate. And unless you know exactly from the bride what she expects of you and what she would like, you aren't going to do your job. So what does that mean? Now, how it, the hierarchy of a wedding, you know, it goes, the bride and groom, then we have the maid of honor, the best man, and then we have the bridesmaids, the groomsmen. What really, ha what really is supposed to happen is you have the bride, and then the maid of honor sources out what the bride wants, and then delegates. Um, now that doesn't always happen, so really, um, your job is either to find out from the maid of honor what are the expectations and what is expected of you, as well as a clear path of communication to constantly know what's going on. And if the maid of honor doesn't seem to be on top of that, go right to the bride, because at the end of the day, you're there to serve the bride. If your bride wants a bachelorette, you know, downtown in the city with a nice restaurant and all these things to do, it's your job to make sure that that actually happens. And so, but you won't know that unless there's clear communication and you find out what is expected of you. Just like, are you going to have a bachelorette party? How many showers do you want? How many showers will there be? Finding these things out at the very beginning and having constant communication will save you a lot of headache, a lot of confusion, and it will allow you to be there for everything and have everything that the bride wants and make it fun. It's awesome. Number two, don't wait, just plan. So, 
you know, the, you're in a wedding party and it's a year and a half or a year away. Don't let that fool you. Start planning now. Part of what I especially need, I live a busy lifestyle. I need a long time to prepare. So what the best thing for me is to find out these things and what I did with my sister when I was a bride is, you know, we went through this at the beginning and that's the best. You might think, oh, we have lots of time to plan that. You actually don't. People's schedules books up, book up, places book up. If you want it to be perfect and at the exact places that you want or even showers, things like that, you have to plan in advance. It might seem like a headache and unnecessary, but I promise you it will make things easier. So as soon as they get engaged, start talking about when the showers are going to be, when the bachelorette is going to be, obviously after the wedding date has been set. But those things cannot wait. I tell you from experience. Those things cannot wait, or you'll miss out on a lot. Number three, whatever you do, no matter how horrible things are going, never complain to the bride, ever. It is your one job for that entire year to make sure everything runs smoothly, that the bride is happy. Never complain. If you don't like um, the bridesmaid, if you don't like so-and-so, who cares? Suck it up, buttercup. Do not complain to the bride. Whatever you do, she does not need that stress. It is your job to make her life as stress-free as possible until the day that she says I do. Then after, I guess you could dish if you want, but just don't say anything. <laughs> Unnecessary actions, I'm sorry. Number four, on the wedding day, this sounds really negative, but hear me out, prepare for the worst, meaning for the wedding day, bring everything, pack a bag, bring tape, scissors, a sewing kit, extra hairspray, curling iron, extra makeup, anything. Plan for the worst. It's like the survival kit. Make sure that whatever you can think of is in that bag so that it is stress-free. You don't know how many times the bride will forget. I was a bride, I get it. I forgot a lot of things. I was like ripping pantyhose the day of because I forgot my Spanx, for goodness sake. You know what I mean? So <laughs> there are things that can totally go wrong on the day of, and it is awesome when you as a bridesmaid are, bridesmaid are completely prepared for the most disastrous situations. And it's, of course, that's a worst case scenario, but it also makes you look good. That's all that matters, right? Outshine everybody else. Just joking. You're all on a team. Do it together. But bring everything. Number five. This is a real one. Start budgeting. From day one that they get engaged and they tell you you're going to be in their wedding, start budgeting. Weddings, from experience, from being on both sides, are expensive. And even though you're just the bridesmaid, it is very expensive because let me tell you, if you read any bride, or sorry, any wedding etiquette book, which you should, I highly recommend, you are required to be at every shower and bring a gift. Um, if that could be five showers, that could be one, that could be two, but that could be five or six on top of anything else, on top of your dress, your shoes, your hair, your makeup, everything else. That is on you. So start budgeting, and honestly, that way, if you do it in advance, by the time the wedding comes around, it's not all these you know, big expenses. You've already saved up for it, so it doesn't feel as big to you because you've already set the money aside. And honestly, that will save you a big headache in the end. <laughs> Don't forget about alterations for your dress. Um, it's very important, and a lot of girls don't think that it's necessary, but it is necessary, especially, um, sorry, it's like waving back and forth at me, hi, um, my stand is pretty wonky right now, okay, so alterations, um, aside from forgetting about them, don't forget to budget them, because they actually tend to be very expensive, sometimes as expensive or almost ex as expensive as the dress. Uh, for example, the wedding that I was just in, in we paid, um, I think, 
$170 for our dresses. They were beautiful. And I had no qualms about it. I was totally ready to spend $300 on a dress if I had to. I was just, I was all in. So it didn't bother me. To me, that's a great price for a dress. When I went to get an alteration, I swore to my sister that it was going to be $20. And when we went, it was 90 So, I mean, that's almost half of your dress. Um, actually, it's, it is half of the dress. So, people don't realize that it's not just the dress, the shoes. You have to remember the alterations. And the alterations are very important. And I know it doesn't sound like it, but you're going to be in pictures and you want the dress to fit right. It's very important for the bride. Think about the bride. Those are the pictures that she has to remember forever. It's our job to make sure that it's the best. Number seven pack snacks for the day of the wedding. Don't be starving. Um, it's, I've been to a lot of weddings as well as been in weddings that you are hungry in. It just doesn't equal anything good. Pack snacks. Bring a bag of chips, granola bars. I would bring something hearty because it tends to be a long time between eating. Sorry if you hear something in the background, it's Walter. It's like eating something gross. Yeah. So pack some food. Sandwiches, I don't know. Just don't be hungry. That's never good. I don't get hungry. I get hangry. So I need to eat. Number eight. Make it fun for the bride. Anything that you do, try, no matter how you feel, try and make it fun. And I know that's so simple, but sometimes we get so wrapped up in things that we need to do or, or how things are going and yada, yada, yada. But we have to remember we have to make every moment fun. This is one season that you get to be a part of that will never happen again. Engagement is the shortest season in a relationship, usually. And um, it's, it's a really important, it's a rite of passage, and it's just a short season that you get to celebrate two people coming together, and you especially get to celebrate the bride, uh, being a bridesmaid. So make everything fun. Even we drove three hours and we had all of these games play, planned for the bride, and we had a blast just laughing, and that's really what matters, and those memories are the ones that count. So make it fun. Number nine, be a good listener. Um, it's really important that uh, you are open and make it known that you are there for the bride, especially because this is a very stressful season. And being a bride myself, I know how easy it was to keep everything inside because you're very stressed out and, and not want to worry other people or not want to talk about it. But actually, it's very important to, um, you know, to to let her know that you were there for her, even start asking questions. I mean, obviously, if she doesn't want to talk about it, you'll get the picture, but make sure she knows that you are there for her and you're there to listen to her at any moment because it's stressful and there are things that your family, her family might not understand and she just wants a friend. And you might be like, well, she has her maid of honor. She chose you too. The maid of honor doesn't mean there's somebody that's more important than you. You guys are all friends and it's all about her. So let her know that you're there to listen. And number 10, the easiest one that I always love to throw in, make sure you, you have fun. Because at the end of the day, if you're not having fun, other people aren't having fun, and you are the life of the party. That's what I always tell myself. You're the life of, no, that's not what I told myself at all. Make sure that you have fun, because these are memories that are gonna last forever. This only happens once, and when you're having fun, it's tangible, or, ugh, it's not tangible. It's contagious. If you're having fun, chances are everyone else is going to have fun as well. So don't be the Debbie Downer in the group. Be the positive Polly and make sure that everybody is having a good time. Be easygoing. Weddings are hard, but they're fun and they're worth it because people get married. Woohoo! Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed these 10 tips. Um, I'm still trying to figure out a filming place. I'm not really like loving this spot. Um, I'm in a new home, uh, so I still haven't found like a space that I'm really liking and the natural light isn't super good, so I'm working with what I got, but that's okay. So I hope you enjoy it. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. Peace out, homies. Bye.